that's what these two bigs do consistently for this Badger team. And that's a calling card over the last 20 years with this program. If you're not a good passer and you're a big, not going to play very much. Tries for a wide open three, good run in transition. It's one of the big question marks coming into this season. Were the Badgers going to be able to continue shooting the way that they did at the end of last year, winning eight in a row as Trice wants to see more consistency, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing, and it's going to come, too. This early on, that's all coaches are looking for. Can you do it? Can you back it up one game to the next? College season, just happy to be on the floor, and once that ball is tipped up, everything kind of feels a little more normal, even though it's not live bodies clapping. you got cardboard cutouts at the Kohl Center. Jonathan Davis on the floor for the first time. He had a nice debut, eight points in 15 minutes a couple of days ago. Nice turnaround by Reavers with the soft touch. I don't know who that is. That, they, <laughs> it occasionally went in once or twice, but uh, we, Coach Ryan let me shoot him enough. <laughs> Here's Aline Ford filling it up again. Ford with eight points. Cameron Jeff, Posey. A lot, of, a lot of ice, a lot of isolation here. Again, we talked about it. One-on-one, -on -one, Brad Davison gets beat there, but their one-on-one -on -one defense was fantastic. Really good basketball. It's the time to exploit some of those things as Jalen Lynn, the junior off the bench, knocks down the tree. If you're guarding that in 2-3 zone, you can't allow yourself to be face cut Nate Reavers does that and he gets a wide open layup deep three and that one's hit by Doss missed a lot of last season only played three games because of a broken bone in his foot nice drive and a chance for a three-point play for Jonathan Davis do that right now because of the free red shirt year so I'm excited for these freshmen because they get game experience and there's nothing like game experience great feed down low to Nate Reavers Again, everything is coming easy for Wisconsin tonight against Arkansas Pine Bluff. And there's a block by Carlson inside the three-point line, knocking down the the two. But you've lived through it, Brian. You've lived through those practices. Greg Gard was one of your assistant coaches. You, you've lived this life, Wisconsin teams, from years past. And late in the game, maybe five years ago, you knew Bronson Koenig was taking that last yeah. shot, right? The ball was going in his hands as Tyler Wall in transition with the flush. Half number one to half number two, Brian, what are you looking for? Not much more to improve upon, but what are you looking for in half number two? Well, consistency. You know, we talked with Coach Guard about that as being consistent from one half. Potter came back. Good look. And at this point, you mentioned half to half, making those adjustments. Potter with the left-handed block. They're really, really good bigs, so you've got to clean up the glass. Can't give second chance opportunities. Nice Stay up and under down. by Sean Doss. Around the chairs if, if you don't have the ability to be face-to-face -face with your teammates. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm not part of it. All right. Still touchy around me. I, right. I can tell. It's very sensitive. And this is going to be touchy for Coach Guard. Again, we talked about consistency, Jeff. Even if the help defense comes, Tyler Wall is streaking right towards the hoop. You got options. A block from the weak side by Betts. Fine. My Alaman left <laughs> needed work. <laughs> Inside look. Micah Potter. Great vision from the big Nate Reavers. What a great resource. Knows the system, knows the conference, as you said. Potter missed. There's Reavers with the finish. Just the second rebound of the game for Reavers. And you can see the emotion, too. You're always going to get that emotion now. Reavers going to be a little frustrated. He bit on that ball fake. Thanksgiving week. Very thankful for good genes in Badgerville. And Wisconsin playing a very good game nice ball movement things that they need to work on between now and December 1st and then of course they've got their in-state rival Marquette on the fourth a battle against Louisville then Northern Iowa that that's what's coming up on the schedule for Wisconsin so there are a lot of teachable things no, 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 no. will put the time in and now he gets to be rewarded for it. taking on a, a Green Bay team that will have a lot of turnover from a year ago but for Wisconsin, they'll have a couple of days to to rest up after playing two games in essentially 48 hours with Thanksgiving in between. First 15 turnovers, a lot to be pleased about. And they outscored the Golden Lions by 20 in the paint. Just a, a dominating effort.
by Greg Gard and his Wisconsin Badgers tonight, Brian.